G'day, welcome back. You've joined the Pedal Picassos once again, but if it is your first time, I'm Rod. Please uh, give us a thumbs up, drop us a line, put a comment in, subscribe. Um, just helps the channel. Thank you. Going through the new X Trident again, looking at the reverb and delay module. Big fan of being able to use um, delays, uh, of course, live and being able to set them up and have some variations. Um, the software allows you to edit as well as the hardware on the machine at the machine um, the hardware on the device if i pull up the delays we got here i have a, a tape delay i can scroll through um, all of the delays and if i just go into edit and we go into our delay module yes i should be able to scroll through my delays i've got this set to tape delay um, if you go to digital delay this is um, swapping on the fly so you've got hardware switch options for bucket brigade tape and then digital if I go to bucket brigade and twist through my options I've got I've got one delay there hmm. if you go to tape delay I've got one delay there and if I've got digital I've got one delay there now let's have a look at our software options yes you've just got the three delay options here let's dive into them and have a look we'll go back up to the top two ways that you get three ways you can edit your parameters actually you've got knobs for your uh, module on the hardware here so your level time and repeats and Twist those, and they will adjust the, the software knobs that you've got. And also the hardware on the device itself. You'll see the knobs changing as you change the rotary encoders, right? There's another way you can do it as well. You can actually highlight it at the moment as the level knob. Your parameter adjustment knob will control that as well. So select your next um, adjustment, your time. Here, and you do have a, a readout down to milliseconds both on uh, the display on the hardware and also on the software as you start dialing with that okay and then the third one being our intensity or our repeats repeats so three ways to do this grab them and scroll them on here okay how does it sound for a bucket brigade delay emulation analog delay uh, the sound is degrading with every repeat it, it works for me Times down to 40 milliseconds. Really um, hard doubling. And you can get some slap back um, uh, rockabilly stuff here. Take it back to one hard slap. All the way out to 400, 402 milliseconds to be exact. Okay, how does that differ from our digital delay? We have 80 seconds, 80 milliseconds, sorry, a default uh, minimum. So once again, Get that slap back style. And whether you prefer that or your analog, it's entirely up to you. And that's automatically gone back to a slightly longer. Just for where the hardware is set. Seem to 
resolve back this time. So pristine um, repeats on this. Amount of repeats on our level. All sorts of fun to have with delays. Now it would appear that I've probably got tail set um, with that because it's continuing to, to repeat until I actually put the time down, time down and I, I had the delay switched off. So I'm hoping that somewhere um, in our hardware and maybe our software we can turn our tails off if you want to get rid of effect like that. Um, I'll turn our reverb off because I'll go with reverb in a minute and show you show you you know what you can get with that in com combination. Um, tape delay. Let's have a look and see what what absurdity we can get with this. So you've got some grainy um, almost overdrive. Option to change the subdivisions here. Quarter notes, dotted eighth notes, eighth notes. found this on one of the other Nuex um, modelers. Although you've got the option to choose between dotted eighth notes, quarter notes, eighth notes, triplets, uh, you don't seem, it doesn't seem to make any difference whatsoever. And whether that's... That's just me. Let's try it on analog delay. Let's give us ourselves sort of a 300 millisecond delay. Let's go to our um, subdivisions, quarter notes, dotted eighth notes, triplets. Give me more repeats. I don't know. It doesn't seem to be making any difference whatsoever. It's, it could be operator error. Please let me know if I'm wrong. We do have, though, um, the ability to set our tempo via tap.
All right, we've got three very useful delays, albeit um, I can't find the option to change our subdivisions to give us uh, some triplet delay action. Right, Re reverb, let's have a look at our reverbs. And spring reverb. On the hardware itself, uh, level and decay. I don't mind that at all. Um, let's have a look at our options for reverbs. So spring, plate. And on the hardware itself, you can go from spring reverb switch to plate. Huge decay time. And then hall reverb. Now, <laughs> we've got a, a lexicon um, studio standard delay here. Um, all the sliders here seem to work and they seem to correspond with our knobs here. So whilst you've only got on the hardware reverb module two hardware knobs for the decay and the level, you can go dive into the parameters and get your other two uh, functions. So liveliness and I would suggest pre-delay. Yes. Or you can grab them on the software, just as I've done there. Okay, with reverb and delay modules, You get the option of having the two modules running in parallel. You get the option of running the delay into the reverb. Or the reverb into the delay. My preference would be the delay into the reverb. And that's more authentic to simulate a particular room size that you're going to be in. Or running them parallel, so separate outputs. Still for me, it's going to be a uh, delay into reverb. Thanks for tuning in. Uh, this has been the delays and reverbs on the Trident. Uh, if I've if I've missed one at all, I don't think I have. Three delays, um, four, four reverbs. Oh, here we go, the reverb room. Okay, so we've got a small room reverb. Size of your room. From a small to from a very small space there's 
this is good for me. You can almost set up that um, that sh that slapback slapback delay. In this case, a slapback reverb. And and then you can have a, a longer delay set at a tap tempo. There you go. That's what we have. Hall. Thanks for tuning in. Uh, we'll be diving more into this uh, for other features, so stay tuned. If, you, if you're keen on the Trident or if you've got one, drop a comment in, let us know. Um, there's already some people putting some comments in about some limitations, and I'm going to endeavour to find out workarounds or the limitations of this. So far, it's, it's a useful um, piece of kit. I still like that it's very, very rugged, uh, solid um, cast housing, soft switches, knobs are, are really good it's a it will be a very useful piece of life kit we'll see you um see you next time